Right guys, welcome back to the Requintazo Podcast Donde hablo de cosas que me ayudan a mejorar como persona y negociante I want to talk about two types of advice When I first learned about this, like I was like pff, mind blown Because it's stuff no one talks about and like you should be aware of this Because once you're aware then you could make, start making the right decisions in your life and this is what's helping me make the right decisions in my life and, and to decide who to listen to and who not to listen to. And this advice applies to everyone. So not just like the entrepreneurs, not just like the people who want jobs and stuff, it applies to everyone. So the first thing you have to be aware of is that there's two types of advice. I learned this concept from a book, se llama The Millionaire Fastlane. So you can read that book, I recommend it. Basically, in that book, covers that there's two types of advice: the fast lane advice and the slow lane advice. And again, in that book, he makes it seem like the only type of advice you should follow is fast lane. But honestly, I think the first thing you have to decide is you have to become aware of what type of person you are and what type of, where do you want to be in like 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So once you decide that and the way to decide this is like if you're if you if your path is studying and going to college and getting a good job and getting a degree then you should follow the slow lane, slow lane advice and there's nothing wrong with that like that that path is secure you get a job your your paycheck is secure every single month you know you're receiving money every single month so the advice for those type of people is way different compared to the people that or, or the people that like the entrepreneurs or the business owners it's way different advice so basically slowly in advice everyone I believe everyone can retire a millionaire it doesn't matter how much you're making it doesn't matter what where you're working at like if you follow this slowly in advice saving up money every single month investing in in um, stocks S&P 500s if you invest every single month doesn't doesn't have to be a lot like 100 to 100 dollars you could retire a millionaire and for for advice like this i recommend reading books like i will teach you to be rich or some books master the game from tony robbins i think it's called like these books are perfect for every for everybody like for for the majority of people i would give this advice to them but for like people like me for people who never saw themselves having a job who've always done their own thing since they were small like there's people out there that that think like me and that advice doesn't apply to us not because we're better than other people but because we're following a different path and that advice doesn't go that advice doesn't align with our goals so I'll give you an example when I did my taxes for last year the tax person He's a, he, he tried to give me slow lane advice because he saw my expenses and stuff. So he tried to, he was like, last year I spent about 30,000 in advertising for my company. And when I told him this, like, he was like, what the fuck? He looked at me like if I was fucking stupid. And he's like, you actually spend that much on advertising? And I was like, yeah. And like, he looked, like, he looked at me like I was stupid and, and like, he saw he saw me spending about 30 grand and making 60 grand in sales for the quintazo so he was like why would you spend that much and in my mind he saw it as a failure but in my mind I saw it as success because I started with zero like I started with no customers and I managed to use like uh, out of my pocket I only used a thousand dollars like that's all I used to to grow to start my company and to grow it like from my pocket it's only been a thousand dollars so for me that slowly in advice doesn't apply because I managed to turn those a thousand into sixty thousand and that's something he would never be able to do with his advice did I have to spend that much on advertising no did I want to yeah do I regret it no why because like i didn't know what i was doing some of that money did go to waste but it, in my mind it didn't go to waste because i used that to learn like i saw what's working what type of advertising works 
I learned what type of how I should send traffic to my website and how I could make more sales like all that went to my education so now my skill level went up compared to other people who are barely starting they don't know what they're doing when it comes to Facebook ads and thanks to that did I lose money yeah but in the end I still profited I I built a customer base and I see that as a win so for people who disagree with my advice it's because my advice is for like the people who want to be in the fast lane and like I said there's nothing wrong with the other lane either that's the advice I would give to most other people so if you're a slow laner this is my advice to you go to college get a good job get a good degree make sure you have that stable job with stable income every single month set aside some money live well below your means save up money every single month doesn't have to be a lot but don't just save it up like use that money with either two of these options in mind either invest every single month into a portfolio that into stocks like s p 500 and stuff that will long-term investing that will give you back your money like that it will multiply your money because if you put this money in a bank it's not going to do shit so put this money in stocks or save up and put it in a bank and with the mind that you're going to invest it into real estate and start start investing into real estate and learn how to do that but that's kind of getting into the other lane again but those are my two options or two that's my advice for for the slow laners for the other people my advice <laughs> my advice is like if you want drop out of college if you want keep on studying but I would go with dropping out and pursuing your own education because honestly college there's a lot of stuff they don't teach you so I would recommend instead of, instead of investing that money into college invest it, invest it into starting your own business invest it into learning from books invest it into taking courses learning from people who are actually doing this shit and have your money work for you so once you start a successful business focus your time on growing that shit like that's what's gonna bring in more money and then once you have more money then you can start investing in another stuff like stocks or real estate or making another company that's gonna make make you more money so th these are just thoughts because like I said I'm not at that level yet and that's what I like about entrepreneurship or business because it's like sports e everyone could play but there's different players from different skill levels and I'm not a top player yet but that's the goal and well I'm gonna end this podcast right here hope you like this podcast hope this podcast makes you think a little bit differently please share it and I'll see you guys in the next podcast